So we're back again in the uh, Wairongamai Valley and uh, we're going into the lower level drive. Now this is what I always thought was a um, just a train tunnel, but apparently not. It was also a mine. Now, last time I came down here I didn't have the torch power to really make it worthwhile and uh, we'll see if this time is any better. Um, the tunnel was started in 1896 and the idea was that they were going to have vertical drives that were uh, vertical shafts that came down from the Buck Reef directly above here which is where they were getting the uh, gold ore and then they were going to put that onto a at start, to start with it was just a tram and then moved on to a train um, so it'd be interesting to uh, see some of those vertical shafts. I've also seen another guy do video down here. Um, I think his channel is called The Forbidden Explorer in New Zealand. And he got down here quite far, I think, and um, there's a fair bit of old woodwork on the ground that looks really horrible. And I remember looking at that that and going, well, I think I was stopped by there. So, I'd like to say that I'd get as far as he did. It's um, quite a lot of water in here. Um, considering the amount of rain that we've had during the week, I was very concerned about finding anywhere that was going to not be totally flooded. But I would say the water here is coming perhaps halfway up my gum boots, which is okay. And the mud is alright. It's uh, quite a gravelly surface on the ground. Oh, we've got a uh, little tunnel going off to the right here. Uh, a green rock here, someone's left up here, that's cool. Tron rocks. Okay, can you see it there? It's a little painted rock that someone's left here. In 2021. So down here we've got a little drive. I'll go and check it out. If you never know, it might hook up to one of these shafts above. But I'm pretty sure it just ends up here. So they, they were actually looking for gold as well as trying to make a tunnel. Um, they weren't overly successful, which is why they stopped. That and the massive capital investiture that they made without really a lot of justification for it. Okay, so that just ends there. Uh, nothing in particular that I can see quartz-wise. Maybe that's why they stopped. They also didn't find anything in the old days. Um, lots of the calcite on the wall and the black staining, which, yeah, I like that combination. It really stands up nicely on the camera. Back through the water. Oh. A rock to stand on. So, the roof of uh, this tunnel here is probably somewhere in the vicinity of four metres high. And we're looking at probably close to that wide as well. Which is why even with the big torch we're having some trouble uh, lighting up the area. But, um, yeah, I still want to carry on. I mean, short of bringing huge halogen lamps or something down here, I don't really know how the lighting can get a lot better. Got another little drive off to the right over there. Do I want to investigate? I've got to get across the deep part of the tunnel here. Oh, yeah. I don't think it goes very far and. No, it doesn't hook up with the vertical shaft. They're just looking around. Okay, so we'll carry on. 
So it could be quite deep in the middle part, but um, shallower on the sides here. Yep. Collapse there. Yep. I don't really like that big rock there. Where'd that come from? Well, obviously came from the ceiling of the roof. Looks like we're coming around to a bit of a bend in the tunnel up here. An old wood stuck against the side. And actually, looking down into the water, I can see it's full of old timber rotting away. Deep into here. Um, I'd like to see some standing timbers. I'm hoping that might be not too far further along. Let's we'll cross to the other side here where it's a bit better footing. Sorry about the loud sloshing with all this water. Not much I can do about it really. Perhaps try and step a bit lighter. It'd be nice if it dried up, but um, a bit unlikely at this stage. So I assume this tunnel would have all been dynamited to get through. Uh, in the past I've looked at some areas where modern like hobby miners have had a go and uh, Thought perhaps they were using dynamite as well, but um, on second thoughts, I think a lot of the time the modern people are just using drills, um, just going into the cracks and of quartz, seeing what's in there. Um, but these guys in the old days, they were they were full on. They had no time for just tiny probably electric drills they were using big air pneumatic drills which they would have had a huge compressor out the front of here to run and um, and dynamite um, my brother who is a miner uh, oh there's an eel down there can we see it that's pretty cool can you see it yeah nice not a huge one, but um, down here in the cave, in the tunnel, cruising along. What's down here, Mr. Eel? Or Mrs. Eel? Ooh, timber work and it gets dry ahead. Let's get past you here. I'll leave you in your home. All right, here yeah, we've got some woodwork up here in the, in the darkness. It looks like it perhaps widens out a bit even more. <laughs> yeah, it's probably getting to the part where um, it starts looking a bit dodgy, if it's not already. So, through this last bit of water here. Starting to come down from the sides a bit more. Uh, the tunnel itself is a bit lower. Well, I hope it doesn't come to an end up here. But um, I'm going to check it out. Lots of timber on the ground, big timber. like a few old footprints on the ground. Yeah, this is where it starts looking proper horrible. The echoing noise is quite a lot different to what it has been out there in the water. If you can see down there, quite a lot of collapse. 
so fairly tentative about how much further I'm going to be able to get in with any degree of saying I'm being cautious about it. It's it's quite solid rock that you know I've, I've seen better rock uh, like last weekend out in the Karang Haki Gorge. I like that a lot better. Um, the tunnel itself was more nicely shaped than this huge thing. Um, as you can see here, quite a lot of, a lot of stuff is um, sliding off the walls and there's... Yeah, it doesn't look very nice at all. Yeah, what have we got? We've got quite a bit of collapse just here. I'm going to take a bit of a look at it. See what the story is. Okay. Um, the rock is all cracked up here. Uh, I can see other people have gone across here. I have a feeling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the rock looking like? It doesn't look nice. It really doesn't look nice. Um, well, let's let's carry on. And, uh, okay, we're on top of this bit of collapse. Oh wow! Well. That could be the end up there. It's um. I don't like this at all. Do not like this. Okay. okay I'm out of that bit of collapse. My heart is beating a thousand beats a minute, I think. Starting to get quite warm in here. Breathing quite heavily, which is, I'm not sure whether it's just out of concern or, you know, I do worry about the oxygen content in, in uh, some of these places. Back into the water here. I can see it either turns a corner up here or it ends. And we're about to find out very, very shortly. Yep, I'm puffing like crazy. The water is significantly deeper here. Question is, is it going to go over the top of my boots? Very close to it. Okay. And carry on. Alright. Don't know if you can see that. There's a big pile of collapsed area here. Now, whether that is a collapse or it is one of these shafts, oh no, it's a collapse. It is a full-on collapse. Alright, I'm just going to have to stop here because I'm limited on my videos that I can do only 15 minutes. So um, yeah, we'll stop here and I'll start again.